Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out-of-this-world story from our space. You will be as much value to others as you have been to yourself. Today in our space, we learn how important it is to love and respect ourselves because if we can't love ourselves, how the heck can we expect others to love us? Value yourself enough to choose to be with someone who wants you as much as you want them. Wife had an online affair when we started going to marriage counseling. Advice appreciated. Me, male 24, and my wife, female 23, have had a rocky relationship the last six months. We got married two and a half years ago. The marriage counselor was open and honest with me on my mistakes. And although I was a bit hard-headed, I eventually understood my issues and I started to make drastic changes. I now go into the gym five days a week. I've been much more persistent in loving her and dating my wife. I've been listening to her instead of trying to answer every question. I have grown closer to God in my faith. Essentially, I have been growing as an individual to be the best version of myself. And for about three days, I was feeling great about my efforts and telling her how sorry I was for how I've been. However, despite this, I still noticed her being distant. I thought that she just needed time to see my efforts in changing were genuine. I wasn't perfect. I made mistakes with her. I stopped being the guy she wanted to be with. But I apologized for this and told her that going forward a change would happen. My marriage counselor saw this change and was proud of me for making these changes. But also through this time, I noticed how she had been growing closer to her online friends. She'd been receiving Snapchats. She holds the phone away from me when she texts. She acts cold to me when I try to be intimate. Yesterday, I had felt like something still wasn't adding up. That there was this piece of the puzzle that was missing. I love this woman, and I've been giving my all listening in marriage counseling, doing what I needed to do to change. And yet, there was no change for her. So I checked on one of her devices despite knowing already what I would probably find. On the device, everything was revealed. Ever since we started going to counseling, she's been sexting and messaging one of her online friends. Doing it while I'm not home at work. Doing it in her bed. Doing it all while I told her my greatest fear was being cheated on, and she told me that I never have to worry about that from her. I was not distraught upon finding this, and said I felt vindicated. That this relationship was failing not just because of my mistakes, but because she was also failing. I immediately called my marriage counselor, and she was shocked to hear this. She stated that this was unexpected from her, and explained how I should handle it. I confronted her when she got home from work. I asked her to sit in a living room with my mother and father present to have witnesses. I told her that I knew, and asked her what her plan was. For me to find out then walk? For her to keep this up as I was getting better. She said she didn't have a plan, nor an excuse. She said she feels terrible she did this, and said that it was a friendship that got out of hand. That she wanted to stop, but use it as an escape from my marriage problems. She said she was never ready to get married, that she got married because that's what she was expected to, having a sheltered religious upbringing. She revealed these deeper issues to me, but again, she said she should have been more honest with me, and said that she feels nothing but regret and shame for her actions. That night, we slept in separate beds for the first time in a long time. Just the night before, she told me how much she loved me, and was proud of me for getting better. This whole time, it was a lie. She was seeking pleasure from another man. I went for a walk last night, prayed my heart out. I went back to the room and told her I forgive her, but I'm still hurt. I told her I still want this to work, but things would need to be different. My marriage counselor stated that we will be having an emergency meeting on Monday. In the meeting, a plan will be put in place on how to proceed. In my heart, I still love her, and I want to make this work and rebuild. However, if she is hesitant, or says she needs more time to figure herself out, then it will be over. My marriage counselor said I need to value myself because I deserve to be loved and chased after by someone who will put in 100% just like me on making this work. To be honest though, I already kind of know that her heart probably isn't in it to make it work. But until I ask her myself directly and wanting a straight answer, I will not know. What hurts the most is that she was never honest with how she felt. If she was really feeling like it was too late after my mistakes, then I'd rather have her just left me. This has rocked my confidence, which I was already struggling with. This morning she said she was in disbelief that I could find it in myself to forgive her. But she doesn't know how she can forgive herself and she needs that time. Last night, she says she wanted to just be friends for now as being close feels too painful. It's understandable as D-Day just haven't. I'm not spiteful of her. My faith in God and my belief system has given my peace through this hurricane of emotions. I want the best for her. I want her to be happy. If it's with me, then we will reconcile and work it out. If it isn't, I hope she finds happiness somewhere else in life, since she does have really deep emotional issues tied to her family origins. <laughs> Would like some advice from those here on how I should approach this going forward. On what feelings I might expect. And what life will be like if this doesn't work out, or if it will. I love this woman, I do, but I also know if it wasn't meant to be, then it wasn't meant to be. A first bit of advice comes from Necessary Sector 358. My wife couldn't understand how her betrayed husband could forgive her. She did, however, after much discussion, come to accept it happened. Now, for a very long time, she is grateful whenever we think about it, which honestly isn't much. Note, forgiveness came after the truth came out. Trust is based on truth. I don't think the truth has been examined yet. I think you two may be way too early to make any long-term decisions. I think it would be appropriate to separate. 
The just be friends comment seems too convenient. Commit to reconcile or divorce. You can always drop the divorce paperwork if it looks like you and she are really committed to reconcile. Your counselor is right, OP. You need to value yourself. It's unacceptable to let people walk all over you and betray you like this. She made poor choices and now she has to suffer the consequences. You are putting in more effort than she has. You're bettering yourself and she just seems to be half-assing this. In fact, from what you've said, she doesn't seem to be remorseful at all. I feel like she would have been more upset if she wanted to make things work. We shouldn't have to chase people and force people to love us and treat us the way that we deserve to be treated. It's very easy for someone we love and who loves us to respect us by respecting and honoring the relationship or marriage. I think you really have to ask yourself if you could live with yourself knowing that your partner isn't fully invested. By forgiving her, it means putting yourself second and really devaluing yourself. Update. Wife had an online affair where we started a marriage counseling. So it turns out this affair has been going on since January. Back then it was more of an emotional affair, but then escalated as time went on. Last night, she stated that she has been wanting out of the marriage since January but didn't know how to say it because she was afraid. This was despite me never laying a hand on her or ever yelling at her. She even contacted him again last night after she said she would break things off. I asked her up front if she had feelings for this guy and she said yes, she did. She said that she is sorry, that I deserve a better wife and I agreed. She said that she is messed up and a terrible person and, yes, I agree. She said she is a habitual liar and, yep, nailed that one. She's been lying to my face for five months now that everything was fine and nothing was going on. She has been slowly turning the story against me with her friends and family privately, telling them how I don't like any of them, how I'd like to put on a fake face around people, but I'm a selfish person. Yeah, I wonder how much of that was just her trying to play it up because she caught feels for another guy. I still told her that I loved her deep down, I do, but because I love myself, also, I can't do this anymore. She hurt me. She has continued to hurt me. This year, she has made me feel like I have had to walk eggshells around her, trying to figure out what she was thinking. I had to live in fear if I was or wasn't doing the correct things. Even though I have sincerely apologized for mistakes I've made, and she has said she forgave me, but she never did, and it hurts being lied to that I thought someone was willing to give me a chance when it was all a lie. I don't even know what her plan was, to keep this up for longer while I continued to think it was all my fault, to eventually walk away randomly without me ever knowing why. She says she feels disrespected that I checked her devices to discover all this, but how does she think I feel? She said that from the very beginning of her marriage she knew she wasn't ready, but never expressed it to me, never gave me hints, kept enabling me when she didn't raise concern over mistakes I was making, telling me everything was alright, telling me she was still in love with me. How much of that was a lie, I wonder? For four years I gave this woman my heart, I chased after her, and we had the fairy tale wedding and courtship. All that was a lie. I told her I don't feel comfortable with her in the house, especially when she made a comment last night asking if she could trust me. She stated she could stay at a friend's place for the time being. She packed her things and left quickly. She said she regretted the things went this far, but I don't want to hear it. She has no idea how much she has scarred me. She has no idea how much the images of the things she has done in my bed for this other guy have haunted me. How much she has hurt me. If she was truly unhappy, she should have just told me and left like an adult. Not play me around as if things could potentially work out. She said it best. She has acted like an immature girl when I deserve a mature woman. I wish her the best. She has deep issues that need to be resolved so she can be happy again with herself. She is terrified of how she will break the news to her parents of what she did to me. I'm sure, though, she will bend the truth and lie to some extent about what happened. But I don't care what her family or friends think. I deleted my social media and blocked numbers, so those jackasses will never contact me if they think this is all somehow my fault. I will not hear any of it. I am done. I'm checked out. Completely. We don't have any major assets and she already has her own separate bank account. This process of separation will be very easy. I have spoken to my father who has gone through this before, and he is walking me through it. So I am in good hands and have a great support group. I cried one final time last night, not for losing her, but the immense feeling of shame that was hovering over my head this year to finally be gone. It still comes in ways, but it gets easier when I remember the things she did. How she was wayward. How she fooled that the first test of our relationship. I recorded our final conversation for my own protection. She stated clearly in the video that this was on her, and this is mostly her fault that this thing failed. Before anyone asks, it was legal for me to do this. I checked the laws of my state. I told her that these past four years have been the best times of my life with her, but our time has passed. This next week, I'll be clearing up the room and putting her things in boxes, looking forward to having more space. I'm not looking for advice from you guys, really. Just wanted to update things on what happened. Slowly but surely, I'm getting better already and will continue to improve myself as the woman that truly deserves and desires me. Some tips on how to move forward would be great. Honestly, though, I'm really kind of proud of how I handled things. I never lashed out or got overly emotional. Thank you. I think her saying she wasn't ready for marriage is just a way of her saying she wasn't ready to deal with whatever issues she has. She's projecting those issues into the marriage. You're not the problem here. She went into the marriage unhealed 
and with too much baggage that ended up self-imploding. Update. I just don't get the why. I don't get why she would do what she did. She had a safe house of loving husband changing for the better, an in-law family that loved her, a mother-in-law that she felt she could be more honest with than her own. And she threw it all the way like that, two years of marriage, as she just imploded it without trying to at least try and reconcile. It's just insane to me. She now has to live on her own, doesn't have the support of my family anymore, doesn't have the security of a loving husband that would have died for her. And she's still telling people it was a mutual decision, as if I didn't cry my eyes after her asking her not to throw it all away. I just don't understand how a woman can be so heartless when it was only two weeks ago when she said she loved me with her whole heart. She'll never know how much she has actually hurt another human being with her actions, to just abandon someone so easily. Having a rough night at the moment. We've got a quick opinion from Flared Bag. I'm terribly sorry that this is happening to you. Some things are sometimes not meant to be. This is the time to focus on yourself and to look after yourself. That is your first priority. Whether she keeps on this path or realizes that she made a mistake is not your concern anymore. You're going through a very traumatic experience and should look after the number one person in your life, and that is you. Good luck, and may you heal quickly from this. The OB replies, Traumatic is very much the word that hits the nail on the head. I feel like at times I'm worthless, that I was never good enough for her anyway, that I'm never going to find love again. It was only a few weeks ago when we were still doing okay, when she held me at night and told me everything was going to be okay. It's just left me feeling so crappy, the amount of manipulation she was doing to me. This experience has made me feel some of the loneliest and worst nights of my life that she would choose someone else and just walk away like an immature child. Honestly, OP, it's natural to ask why, but I don't think it's something you're ever going to understand. It's absolutely gut-wrenching, but we can't get caught in the grasp of what ifs or I wasn't good enough, because that's simply not the case. You said it yourself. She was the immature girl. You need a woman. Don't put your focus on what she no longer has. Screw her. What would you tell OP? Update. For everyone that told me it would get easier with time, you're absolutely right. She rarely crosses my mind now and my therapy sessions have helped me tremendously. I've been losing a ton of weight and have a personal trainer helping me with that. The thing that has helped me the most is realizing that she has thrown away a really good man. People around me tell me that they are shocked she would do this to me. Someone who everyone knows as genuinely a good dude who cares for others. I'm so glad she did what she did so I can see her for who she truly is. I wish her the best, but I'm a superstar catch in this world as she threw that away for someone who knowingly wrecked a family. Her loss. Another update. I've been doing amazing. No joke, I've been using the past two months to completely turn my life around after being betrayed. I've been going to the gym every single day for general of cardio while meeting up with an old high school fitness coach three days a week to do intense lifting. My body has gotten so much slimmer, no six pack yet, but everyone around me tells me I look great. I've also changed my hairstyle to that of a generic Afro classic man look to a more in-style cornrows look. I look like a completely different person. It's still me, but I feel like I am different. Like I've come out of the other side of a devastating loss, but have gained so much more self-worth. Even my co-worker just today mentioned how I looked really smooth. I got some pictures taken of myself by my friend, who has a nice camera, and they came out really amazing. Other than looks, I've also been a lot more social. I joined a weekly young adults church night event, I joined my church's worship team, and I've continued to make friends wherever I go just being myself. I even hit it off with one of the girls at the young adults night. She seemed to dig me, which was cool, and a nice confidence boost. The new job I started has been really awesome, and I'm even planning to become an investor with them as the owner who I'm good friends with, said it's a good opportunity at my age. I bought a couple of great books and have been reading them to help me mentally and financially. I'm not sure how my ex has been. My mom mentioned how she seems to be really tapped into social media, basically pretending life is perfect and whatnot, even posting photos of our cat, who she doesn't even have right now since he lives with me. <laughs> I don't care though. She can live happily in her fake online relationship while I'm out there crushing life. Everyone told me it would get better with time, and it really does. Can't wait to see where I'll be in another two months. Update. A really sweet woman offered me her number at the gym today. Really cool thing just happened. At the gym today, this one lady who complimented me on my hair the other day came up to me and offered me her number. She isn't really my type, plus not sure if I'm ready for another relationship yet. So I thanked her but said that I was currently going to something and I wasn't ready to put myself out there yet. She understood and said she was sorry to hear that. Even said that I'm a cutie and what's not to like about me? Told her I would see her around and thanked her for the compliment and offer. Going through what I went to really f up my confidence and self-worth. So this happening was such a shot of confidence for me. She is very pretty herself, but again, not really my type, and I'd rather be honest with her about my status and not wanting a relationship right now. This has made my whole week, really. I haven't received a compliment from another woman since the beginning of the year when my wife became really cold towards me. Edit. Since a lot of people keep mentioning it about maybe changing my type, I want to also make it clear that this woman was also a bit older than me. Like she was probably mid-30s. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but my personal limit is 29 and below. 
We've got some feedback from Frontline 1598. That a boy. Take them on they come, brother. Compliments are always welcome. Lavender Iris chimes in. That seems like it was a sweet interaction. She made you feel good and you kindly explained why you weren't currently available. I bet your honesty made her like you even more. Live Maze 6410 says, Anytime you get a compliment as a man, you should feel great. Happy major week. Another update. Exciting update. Secured a casting agent. Over the weekend, I went to a casting call and got the number for an agent who likes working with local people. This was by pure chance as I talked with a dude in line about how he got his start and he mentioned he had an agent which surprised me. He gave me her number and said to use him as a reference. I sent her an email and left a voicemail. She go back to me today and let me know she will take a look at the headshots I sent her. The next email she sent was literally a contact, instruction for what they need, and terms for her being my exclusive agent. She's not a big time agent, but she has helped cast people into some pretty decent roles on shows and commercials. This is a pretty amazing opportunity. Literally one to one in asking an agent to take me on as a client. A lot of other actors spend years looking for one. I feel like this all might be some divine intervention. <laughs> Regardless, this is a really amazing and I'm super pumped to be moving forward with her as my agent provided all goes well. Hopefully I'll land some roles. We'll see. At this point though, it wouldn't surprise me if I did considering how fast this has moved after literally a week deciding to hardcore go for it as an actor. Karma must be real, man, because after my world falling apart, things are shooting upwards fast. Yes, OP. So many beautiful things enter our lives we let go of the crap. Once you stop giving your energy out to things that are undeserving and placing that energy into yourself, miracles happen. Update. She reached out about a pet. She basically asked if she can see the pet. Like, for a whole day and spend time with it. I'm not sure how to respond or if I should respond. It's been a solid four months since she left me. She left due to an online affair she had. Currently in the process of trying to get a divorce done. Been difficult though since my state is so backed up with legal help. I conflicted on one hand. I want to be nice and say sure you can see him for the day. On the other hand, I don't want to. I know all she wants to do is take photos of him to put on her Instagram and pretend all is right with the world and her end. So I'm wondering if I should just ignore her. I don't want to be mean though, if that makes sense. I'm not a mean person, yet she was extremely cruel to me. Just feel conflicted. I don't know. We've got some answers to the question. Giag27 says, Nope, don't respond. Not good for your mental health. Sorry, not sorry. Johnny Gluebag adds, Likely won't do the pet much good either. I know my pets were traumatized, not like a person obviously, after my significant other left, and I think a day with her, after the fact, would just have aggravated the situation. Do add 1956 says, Ignore her, it's for the best. Abbreviations old 5833 chimes in, Don't respond, leave her on red. Killer Kamatis says, Go no contact, focus on healing from all the ordeals she put you through. Life Yogurt Closet 98 has one more reaction. She abandoned you and the pet. Not to mention didn't even check on the pet in months. Ignore her. She's not looking for Instagram photos. She's looking to make sure she has an anchor to your harbor. Follow your gut, OP. She doesn't deserve it. And after four months? No way. Why does she suddenly care now? You've moved on. The pet is yours. I wouldn't spend any more energy on her than you already have. What would you do? And thank you for joining us today on Our Space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And while you're at it, Please let us know what you thought of today's content. See you soon.